Hi, this is Tim Just, the 8020TD. Small effort, big results. You can reach me at the80-20TD.com. Let's get started. I want to show you how to make your first tournament or a brand new tournament in WinTD. I've started the program. I'm going to click on File and choose New Tournament. On this screen, you can give a description of the tournament. How about my first tournament? The dates for this event, 2 slash 09 slash 2009 through 2 slash 10 slash 09. Uh, let's make that 2009. That way we're sure that everything is going to be read by every program involved in this throughout the entire process. Here's the tiebreak order as it's found in the rule book. You can move things up or down to suit your needs. Generally you won't have to do anything. You're running a, a, a team tournament where one team sits down to play another team. Three people versus three people. Four people versus four people. You would click here. Team board weights. In various scholastic leagues, board one has a different weight when it wins than board eight. This is a chance for you to fix all that up according to your needs. Let's get started, okay? Here's a screen that lets you start your first section. Our first section is going to be for under 2400, and I'm going to call it my master section. Notice that the board automatically starts numbering at 101. In Scholastic tournaments this is a fairly standard maneuver where one section starts at 101, the next one at 201, the next one after that at 301. Because you have so many sections it makes it fairly easy for the students to find their boards. In adult tournaments this becomes not so much a standard. Now I'll show you how to change that later. The default for board spacing is one. You won't need to change that. We will show you how to do that in another video. Select the type of tournament. I like individual, the default. Pair teammates. No. Why? Even if it's not a team tournament, even if it's not a scholastic tournament, you want to have teammates not paired against each other. You want this option so when you enter like for example, a father and a son, you can put in a team code and they won't be paired against each other during the first half of the tournament. Of course, you're going to have to remember to come back later and change this for the second half of the tournament. I'm running a standard Swiss, but there are other choices here. I never fool with this. I use my main rating as the USCF rating. Up here, I do not click USCF rated, even if it's going to be a USCF rated event. You'll get a chance to deal with this later when you submit your tournament online. Often you're going to be creating tournaments that you may want to be partially rated with some sections being unrated. The safe thing to do is have none of them as USCF rated because when you upload your tournaments to the United States Chess Federation site in order to be rated you want to have the option of saying, yes, I want to rate this section. No, I don't want to rate it. The way to do that is not click USCF rated. All right, let's create another section. This section is for the under 2,000 player. And we're going to call that the open section. And we're going to leave it at board 201. And notice all the defaults are exactly the same as the first section. Our next section is going to be for the non-rated player. That means we're going to let them get a taste of USCF tournaments without having to risk a rating. Short title, unrated. I'm going to leave everything else the same. The last section I suggest everybody always have is a section where you can rate games but not count them towards the tournament. That section can be called anything you want. I like to call mine Extra Games and the short title here would be 
extra. Why do we have this section? Let's say there's two people that have buys from the two sections we've already created. This will allow you to let them keep their buys in their section towards prizes and allow them to play a game against each other in the extra game section that gets rated and counts for a rating only and not towards prizes. Players really appreciate this. At this time I don't have any more sections so I'm just going to cancel the screen. You'll notice now I have the four sections we talked about. You know I really don't like the starting board number 101. This is pretty much an adult tournament so if I choose this and then double click on it I'm back to the screen where I created the tournament and I can make my starting board number one. At this time if I really want to click USCF rated I can or I can change anything else I need to change. In the open section I'm going to have my starting board number be a 30. I'm only guessing right now but this is an important skill that you're going to need once you know exactly how many players are in each of your sections. The unrated section can start at board 50 or any other board you choose. I like to keep my extra game section at a strange board number because that way it never gets mixed up with any of the games that count towards points and prizes. You know there's a few other things I might want to change here and I can do that under edit information because now I'm back to the screen with the tie break order maybe I really want to change it to USCF team tie breaks or I need to change my team board weights this is a way for you to do that I can even change the name of the tournament here I kinda like this I just thought I'd show you how to do it the last thing we need to do is we need to save the tournament I created a folder called test to do this if you don't have a folder you can create one over here create new folder or you can maneuver to any other folder you'd like where you're going to keep this information for the rest of the tournament well this tournament I'm going to call my first event before I save it, here's a note. If you're using Vista, you might be wise to create this folder in the public folder that's automatically generated for you as part of your file system. It seems that WinTD and the USCF systems can talk to each other and read files in the public folder. This is going to be to your benefit in the long run. Anyhow, let's save this tournament. We're all done because now we're all ready to start entering players and that's what we're going to discuss in our next video. Thanks for listening to the 8020 TD. If you have comments or want to talk to me it's the80-20td.com. Thanks.